Now, how do you create a link that your users can click on so that uh, when they raise an issue, when they create an issue, the project and the issue type uh, is already filled in. Now, this was actually a question from Dona and Dona is asking about uh, looking for a way to create a link that would automatically bring the user to a create screen with the project and issue type already selected. Now, doing this is very simple. All you need to do, you need to basically um, include the project ID and the issue type ID in the URL. So basically, these are the two arguments that you need to pass. So whenever you click on uh, create issue button, for example, uh, the, 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 the URL is actually secure slash create issue. Now, this is how it will look like when you create a link with the project ID. Let us say in this case, it is uh, 10,000 and my issue type ID is uh, 10102. It will bring up a page where the project and issue type IDs are already filled in or the values are already filled in. Now I can change my project ID to something else. Let us say I want to raise the bug in a different project. I can change it to project ID, which is 10,002. So let us say if it works, it should work. I'm just trying to show you. So the project is now Kanban and issue type is bug. Now you can change uh, the bug or maybe the issue type to something else. And by the way, if you want to figure out how to get the project ID, you can always go to the manage projects or your project section in uh, Jira admin. And when you hover your mouse over the edit, you will, you will be able to see the project ID in the URL. So you can take a look at the project ID and uh, for uh, issue type ID, you can go to the project and let us say you want to create uh, an epic. So the epic, I mean, by the way, when you hover your mouse over these issue types, you can see here that, that in the address, the URL has 10,000. So 10,000 is for epic, 10,001 is for story. So let us change it to 10,000. So 10,000. And uh, let us see if it works. So now we have epic. And if you change it to 10,001, it should be story. So this is something that I wanted to share. And this can be really interesting, I can understand maybe you are doing some automation or maybe you just don't really want users to be bothered with, you don't really want to give them all the trouble of selecting the issue type and project. <laughs> when they create an issue, this link will save few clicks for your users. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed, you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.